previously on the Wandell Family Adventures, Ryan and I stopped into Niagara Falls. This is where we ate some incredible food, saw the majestic Niagara Falls, and we wasted a little time as the weather was supposed to pass us by. We woke up early the next morning and got to the FBO around 11 a.m., where we started the long adventure of waiting for the field to lift into VFR conditions. We've been waiting here at the FBO for the weather to clear and everything just went VFR, so we're having to pull the airplane out. We're gonna get back in the sky and get back headed west a little bit. Uh, we're gonna fly a little more west than anticipated so we can definitely clear all the rest of the, the drizzle that's south of us. And it looks like we'll be clear shot home. That's a relief, you know. As much as I love New York, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> uh, no, it's great. Um, it's fun being a part of this process and, and seeing what it takes and watching it and just learning to have patience. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, they're gonna go get the airplane now. We're gonna load up, get out of here. Thank you, Niagara Falls, it was fun. Let's go. We grabbed our gear and loaded up the van for a short drive across the field to the hangar. The forecasts were calling for the clouds to clear up before noon and the weather to stay south of our route. However, it's already two o'clock, so we knew the weather has changed just a little bit. And once we get airborne and get around the corner to flying west again, we can see that the weather is doing what it does best, changing. Yeah, I can see there's a first and a second. Niagara Tower, set 
As we progressed down the coastline of Lake Erie, we could tell the weather was fighting to push north, and we were slowly going to get pushed over the lake. So this is when we decided to get on the ground and get a better grasp of our situation. So we made a turn back east to Dunkirk, New York, where we get our game plan together. And nothing's working, so I have no clue what the weather is. It's missing. The wind is missing. Altimeter 2, Niner, Niner, zero. We have to fly by the flag and look. It's missing. Present weather information. I bet it's going about like that. Chautauqua County Airport, Dunkirk, New York. Automated weather observation. One niner four. Eight Zulu. Wind missing. Either runway is probably a crosswind. <laughs> I mean, we're not not blowing. No, we're really not. The windows are catching wind, so it's got to be going that way. Coming from this way? Uh, they're twirling this Yeah, that means it's blowing that way. So we're downwind right now. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I thought the blades were on the far side. Nope, they're on the close side. They're pointed at us, so the wind's going that way. Good visual. <laughs> it's like we're pilots or something. Sucker traffic, that's a uh, nine-door picture of the airport, one downwind, two four.
Now that's a soft field. <laughs> Carl's like, that's what I want. <laughs> After looking at the new forecasts and the anticipated weather for the next day, Kent State University was our goal. With the time to get there, where the weather was tracking, and where the weather would be tomorrow, this was the best place to end the day. So we climbed back in the 150 after topping off the tanks and set our sights on Kent State. Center traffic, set the 600 vehicle, taking the active 24, southeast, uh, southwest. Taking that warbird up. Look at that shit. Yep. Because we were inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Kent State University not a bad place to do a, a pit stop not a bad place to be if the weather turns crappier so which is what we're doing we are reassessing our travel itinerary and seeing where we want to end up uh, kind of just letting it flow by a little bit so So we decided to call it uh, a day uh, with the storm that's on us. It's going to clear out in the next couple of hours, but by then it'll be too late to really get anything done and not feel crappy. Plus in DFW, they're dropping down to be um, pretty marginable through the morning and then all the way through the afternoon, it's still kind of questionable until you get to like four or five o'clock in the afternoon anyway. So it, timing works out for us just to stay here, call it a night go eat some good food, maybe watch a movie, uh, get some extra rest, wake up super early and just finish the leg home in clear blue skies. So tomorrow, clear blue skies, the holy home, should go quick tomorrow, finally. We're gonna start making some southward progress. Today's been all westward bound. Tomorrow we go south. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, but hey, we're at Kent State. Let's check out the town. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, bye Cessna.